please note that this is the first time I'm watching Westworld. This would be a series I'll be sinning a week before Titan sins, and this will go on until I'm caught up. So I really don't know what happens in the future episodes, so please just note that. Right off the bat, this intro is awesome. It tells what's going on with Westworld, what's really going on with Westworld, and good music for an intro. Take a sin off! I know this is an intro, but two robots f***ing while they're being made brings a new concept of making life. Looks like Westworld has taken the Institute's method of making robotic humans from Fallout 4. This is Westworld. Hope you enjoy the cre- Oh, yeah. These guys made this for television, and this guy made a film in the 70s, and this guy made the teleplay. Enjoy the- Oh. And also, these guys I've mentioned before written the story. That's it. Oh yeah, and this guy directed this. We should have done this in the intro before the title drop. It's not a HBO series if there isn't any boobs showing. Seriously, HBO will feel naked if they don't show naked people. Here's the automatic piano, an occurring object for this episode. Just hope not for this series. Here is the supposed pitch for Westworld. We, as human beings, has found out a way to make robots look a lot like humans. How can we show this to the world? I know, let's make a Wild West theme park and have these robots dress up like cowboys. You there. You look like the kind of man who'd put his metal to it. I guess this is scripted if no visitors are in the sheriff's vision. So why have this sheriff ask Teddy to help? Especially when no one is around. All lives have routine. Mine's no different. Or it's literally in a loop if there isn't any visitors' interference. Cowboy Trevor Phillips. I'm more sure of the outcome than you use son of a bitch. Person was about to say son of a bitch till something happens cliche. Dolores' mother's face is hidden because they don't have any plans for her. Also, somehow they can have a bunch of naked people in one shot, but they can't cast someone to play as Dolores' mother? What if I told you that you were wrong? That there are no chance encounters? Well, I like to question that statement, because even though you say that there is no chance encounters, but a visitor, a human visitor, can do anything and hard to predict. I mean, I think it would be hard to script all of those possible encounters. So it turns out that guns in Westworld can't kill visitors, but are capable of killing the robots living in Westworld. How the f*** does that work? You do realize bullets are bullets, right? What if I told you that you can't hurt the newcomers, and that they can do anything they want to you? Later on, these questions would be asked to Dolores when she is brought in for questioning. So why is the question guy ask her this question when he knows that her mind would be erased? This is just for exposition for the audience. Really? Even when you had an irrelevant shot in the forehead, you still shoot him knowing that would do nothing? We all love the newcomers. Every new person I meet reminds me how lucky I am to be alive. Though she would have no memories of the newcomers, unless it's part of her programming to like the newcomers, what does she mean by that? I just wonder how big Westworld is. If it's this big, then it would be hard to keep the park updated on maintenance, especially on a daily basis no less. Sure, it would be cheaper to make a robotic horse instead of a real horse taken care by robots, but does that mean everything in Westworld is a robot? Even the flies? The advantage of working as a robot operator in Westworld is that you get to see a lot of naked people, which only certain people would be into. Even though I've never seen Game of Thrones, I guess Westworld has more boobs showing than Game of Thrones in one episode. We didn't put it there, then who did? Ford. He still reviews every update before we issue them. He must have slipped it in there without telling anyone. Seems like a bad idea to slip in new features on a robot without telling anyone. You know with new features comes new errors, in which this episode is about. 
I guess these guys are doing computer stuff to monitor the park, but why is it so you can only see their heads? Every time your team rolls out an update, there's a possibility of a critical failure. We don't update the host in cold storage, and the park hasn't had a critical failure in over 30 years. Based on that, it seems that Westworld had been running for 30 years, which is even more impossible on how they keep this place running. Also, I hope you explain what happens to the critical failure 30 years ago in later episodes. Episodes. Till then, sin. Why is there a flood over there? There is no indication that there is something water in this place. Give me an explanation. So it appears that the boss of Westworld was just talking to an old robot cowboy in the storage place. Why didn't he tell someone that he would be down here is beyond me. But at least tell someone. They repeated themselves, broke down constantly. Simple handshake would give them away. And after all of that, you've managed to make them better without going bankrupt over maintenance and resources. You there! You look like the kind of man put his metal to it. I know it's in script for the sheriff to say this to any visitors, but this guy? Really? The same guy who killed Terry and did bad things to Dolores is meeting Dolores as if they first met. I know Dolores wouldn't remember, but the viewers would find this disturbing. It seems that whenever a fly lands on the robot, they would cause an error and malfunction. We pull all updated hosts until we can figure it out. Uh, are you f***ing kidding me? That's 200 hosts spread across a dozen active storylines. This guy cares about his storylines, but wouldn't pulling 200 with storylines wouldn't affect anything you seem to repeat them on a daily basis i don't get the problem it's beautiful your brow when you're angry but trying to control it the fine muscles pull into a little arc noticing facial gestures so in Dolores' script when she doesn't meet teddy she paints this picture which would mean there's a ton of the same painting somewhere that a random human person is collecting so this can be a loop in a strange hitch, Dolores' father noticed something on the ground and picked it up, which happens to be a modern picture, which means this is unscripted, but very unscripted that he noticed something that's clearly hidden to be there. Also, there is a moment where a visitor had this photo that shouldn't be allowed in this place and dropped it right here, and why would that person bring this photo? Have you ever seen anything like this place? Doesn't look like anything to me. Seriously, a picture of something that's out of place, and it looks like nothing? So, when do you get to rotate home again? If you're this bad at writing small talk, how the f*** did you get your job? Same as how writers get their job. Great convincing. Ford and Bernard keep making the things more lifelike. But does anyone truly want that? This place works because the guests know the hosts aren't real. So what exactly are you suggesting? Stop the updates altogether. Maybe even roll them back a bit, make the hosts more manageable. This guy never heard of the Uncanny Valley. A bit of a funny thing about this piano that it started playing Soundgarden's Black Hole Sun, something that I like to hear. And sure, it's just me because I like covers, but I like it. This guy has milk leaking from his shirt, meaning that this guy is shot, but isn't dead. Yet again, a malfunction. But this would change a lot of things. The hosts are supposed to stay within their loops, stick to their scripts, with minor improvisations. Sure, but what about major changes? Like if a visitor decided to shoot everyone in town the second they step off the train. How can they stay scripted? I wonder if people are looking for this robot who is off script at this point. Which brings back on how anyone can monitor every robot in Westworld. It seems by the past three days that whenever a day pass, the memories reset and goes as a loop. I know Dolores' father is malfunctioning, but he would be resetted as well. This isn't a minor change. If it was scripted, Dolores would still be happy and have a talk to her father. But this is something else. Oh cripe, this version of Paint It Black is awesome. I will take a couple sins off for this, but this is the first. That's the sheriff's horse, you son of a bitch. Anyone who does this would be killed. 
this slow motion with the motion and an awareness to what's going to happen is epic. Robot Shooter Lady knew that she has to kill a lot of innocents, so she brought three extra rifles. So many shots you made for that one guy you already got. I gotta get back to father. So instead of getting away without bringing attention, she goes out in the open. I swear, Teddy is going to be the Kenny of Westworld. I bet he would die a lot in this series. Oh no, the piano! Luckily it can be remade just like the robots. Well, let this be a lesson. The lesson is... So, what's the lesson? <laughs> Look at that! I just shot him through the neck! <laughs> and it fell here too! <laughs> I know that they know that they're robots, but laughing at death is just psychotic. Tell me, what happened to your program? And here comes some weird twitching and movements after that question was asked. Wait, I thought in their sleep state they can't move most of their bodies, but now he can do this? I'm so confused. What the hell was that? I don't know. He's off script. He didn't program any of those behaviors. So how can any of his actions happen? Have you ever lied to us? No. Is that a lie? You know why she's special? She's been repaired so many times, she's practically brand new. She's the oldest host in the park. If Dolores is the oldest in the park, how did she manage to survive throughout the years? Especially with the whole critical failure thing that was mentioned. It seems that Dolores' dad is replaced with the bartender. So my question is, who's going to be the new bartender? So many people naked in this scene. A black screen is presented right here. Wait, there's some sort of map on that guy's head? Why? And if it isn't a map, what is it? Dolores swatting a fly indicates that they can now hurt living beings, which got me interested to what's going to happen in the next episode. Can't wait! <laughs>